wherever you're sitting or standing or kneeling, I want you to just allow your body to be at ease, relaxed, and just feel grounded in your environment. We're going to begin by breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, hold at the top, and out through your mouth. Breathe in through the nose, hold at the top, and out through your mouth. One more time, breathe in through your nose, hold at the top, and out through your mouth. You are walking on some white sands, barefooted on a hot summer's day. You can feel the warmth of the sand beneath your feet where the sun has warmed up the sand. Above you is blue sky with a few floating clouds in different shapes. In the distance there is an island, and you wonder what it would be like to be able to get over to that island. You look to your right, and you see a raft, and for some reason there's actually your name on this raft. It's like it was built for you. And on the back it says, SS Calm Waters. You know that this is a journey that you must take, so you walk over to the raft and drag it towards the front of the sea. And as soon as the raft touches the ocean, it lights up with different colours shining incredibly brightly and there is a red patch in the middle of the raft that looks like a groove for you to sit in. You sit on the red groove and immediately the raft lights up even brighter and all of a sudden this light starts to go through your body and it's this feeling, it's not just a light, it's like this immense force of energy and you feel revitalised, you feel rejuvenated and you can breathe the fresh air more easily and your senses have been enhanced, your taste, your smell, your sight, you can see the colours even more clearly, you can hear the seagulls, you can hear the ocean all the more clearer. But it's not an overpowering amount of sensation, it's just the right amount to make you feel amazing. And you feel as if this raft was built by someone that has a connection with you. You can't explain why, but you feel like this raft was not made in this world. In a way this fills you with joy because it makes you think that, well, maybe there's someone looking after you in another world or in another realm somewhere, watching your footsteps, following you on your journey throughout life. All of a sudden the raft begins to move. are slowly floating on the ocean. It's completely calm, no waves, but you're moving closer to this island. The closer you get, the more of a sense of security you feel. 
almost like after a long day at work and you get home and sit on your sofa. That kind of security, but amplified even more. It's like a relieved feeling of security. And as you get closer, this feeling builds up more and more. And this feeling of security is allowing you to feel relaxed. And your whole body is loosening. All the aches and pains seem to be less intense and everything is just great at this moment. As you get closer to this island, you notice that the harbour front is also lit up. And there is a wooden harbour for you to step onto. Your raft floats slowly into the harbour, drifting calmly. When all of a sudden you hit the edge of the harbour. There's a slight knock. And you know that you must step off now, so... You step off onto the harbour, and to your surprise, there is a man there greeting you, with a smile on his face. I cannot describe what this man looks like to you, because this is a personal thing. Whatever image comes to your mind, is how this man is supposed to be presented to you. This man ushers you over, and as you draw closer, you feel this connection with him, like you know him from somewhere, but you can't quite figure out where. The man says, I've been watching you your whole life. Well done. You have been so courageous. You have done me proud. You have done your family proud. And at this moment you realise that this is a family member. A long descendant of your family's lineage. You don't feel the need to ask because you just know he is part of your family. Generations ago, this man was on planet Earth, and you are a direct result of him. He ushers you towards a cabin, and you follow him. You walk together peacefully on this golden sand and every step you take you feel more and more rejuvenated you feel like you're just absolutely beaming with energy in this moment you go into the cabin with this gentleman He says, come closer. So you come closer to him, and you realise that he has a gift for you. In his hand, he's holding an envelope. You must not open this now. Wait until you are back home, he says. You nod and agree, and you both smile and just take in each other's presence for a moment. I will always be here for you, he says. Don't worry. What you are doing and what you will do is absolutely fine. Do not doubt yourself. Be on your way. shine brightly. You nod and just turn around without 
even saying goodbye because you know it's not really goodbye. This man will always be there for you. You sit back on to the raft and slowly float back towards land. You turn around and look back at the island and notice that the man is waving at you. And you wave back. And you just whisper quietly, Thank you for this adventure. The raft hits the golden sands of the beach, and you step off, excited to open the envelope. You open the envelope. Now this is something that I cannot guide you with. The message in the envelope is only for you to interpret. So whatever message comes to your mind, whatever positive message comes to your mind first, that is what was intended for you. I want you to start focusing on your breathing again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose, hold at the top and out through your mouth. And when you're ready, you can look around the room and just come back to reality a little bit. If you feel the need to stretch or move about, then please do so. I hope this meditation was a fun adventure for you, that allowed you to feel relaxed and secure. Maybe you've had a message come through. Thanks for meditating with me.